Hi, my name is John Batista, and welcome to Fundraiser, where we explore the cutting edge of fundraising. My guests today are Sachin Agarwal and Gary Tan from Posturus, a new company in the internet space uh, that was incubated with um, uh, Y Combinator. Uh, welcome, and thanks for being my guest today. Thank you, John. Uh, tell us what, uh, what is Posturus. Uh, so Posturus is the easiest way to publish anything online. You basically just compose an email message to post at postures.com and you can put anything at all in the body, full HTML and attach rich media, uh, images, video, audio, links. And we basically take that email and we convert everything to the most web-friendly format possible and publish it online instantly. So what are some of the uses that um, users are using uh, Postures for? Uh, so people use it for uh, personal blogs, uh, for ways of uh, sharing photos and video online, especially uh, from mobile devices like the iPhone, which uh, can capture all these uh, rich media types and then email them directly. And so it's actually really great for families who want to do collaborative sites between them. So one thing we're really excited about actually is that we're getting new, new bloggers, new people who have never posted online, never participated in a user-generated web, uh, user content website ever, um, and they're doing it for the first time on uh, Postures because it's just like emailing and it's really, uh, you know, what they do every day anyway. Um, and so part of it is actually, we, we think that there are you know, 2 billion uh, email accounts out there, but there are only 200 million blogs, or even the biggest social network only has around that number of users. And so it's just such an unbelievable, you know, 1.8 billion people who we want to reach with our technology. And it's, it's a huge market. You guys saw the uh, need for it. The um, solution is very easy to use. Thank you. Um, and so you raised about $750,000 in uh, bridge financing from a number of uh, angel investors. And the unique thing about your fundraise was that uh, you were able to put together a large number of investors. Um, so can you tell uh, us a little bit about why you chose uh, to go with a convertible note structure versus an equity round structure? Uh, well, so the most important thing for us was to find investors who were really passionate about what we were working on, very interested in um, in the product, and would give us a lot of guidance. And so we were able to find this incredible group of people who um, have been entrepreneurs or were in our shoes in the past, and uh, they wanted to invest and, and help guide our product. And so we wanted to get around them as quickly as possible once we found these like perfect investors. So who are some of the perfect investors that came on board? So one was uh, one, our actual lead was uh, Satish Dharmaraj, who founded Zimbra, the first uh, a, you know Ajax Web 2.0 webmail, which sold to Yahoo years ago. Um, and we also got his original angel, who was uh, Eric Hahn, who was CTO at Netscape and Proofpoint, and in the valley is known as Mr. Email. Right. He's the guy you talk to if you do anything associated with email. So it was perfect, uh, you know, right off the bat. And both Eric guys. and uh, Satish are actively involved with the company. They're Absolutely. advising you guys. Yeah. Yeah, on a product standpoint, we meet with them regularly. And, you know, they've been in our place before. They know how this is done. And they've just been giving us su such really great advice. And as with a lot of other companies that we've worked with, you've structured your convertible note to have a fixed valuation cap on there. And that was in order to uh, enable the investors to lock in essentially what their ownership percentage of the company was. Uh, and what were some of the other advantages um, of uh, structuring the round that way? Uh, well, yeah, so like you said, it, it locked in the price. And we thought that was really important because these angels are our earliest investors. And we really felt they should be rewarded for taking the chance on us and getting in early. Um, and really, it just allowed us to get this round done incredibly quickly. We, uh, we were a Y Combinator company. We used the momentum from Y Combinator to uh, jump off into like, the fundraising round. And we wanted to get it done quick and not spend a whole lot of money on legal fees. Right. Did you get pushback from some investors structuring it this way versus, um, you know, a seed equity round? Yeah, we definitely did. But um, ultimately, I think the people who really understood our vision and really absolutely were passionate about what we were doing, um, 
they kind of understood that actually we wanted basically the same as equity sort of characteristics in the deal, but we didn't want to spend 10% of the money we raised on legal fees. It just didn't make any sense if you're doing a seed round to try to have to deal with that much. Right. And this also allowed for a rolling close. You raised capital over a number of months. Uh, yeah, it worked out really well. We basically we met our lead, Satish, um, within a couple of days of starting um, to look for fundraising. And from there, we you know, just kept meeting guys and, and really looked for the perfect investors and, and signed them as we could. So angel versus VC, what would you recommend for uh, most startups at this stage? Uh, well, like I said, uh, you know, we, we were just very lucky to find angels who are so in tune with what we're working on and can give us all this feedback. And they're really investing in us uh, out of passion for our product. Right. And you can't really beat that. Right. And I think XG Ventures also uh, invested in the company. Is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. And they you know, have a great experience from coming from Google and being really early on there. Right. Um, and so, you know, just in terms of, you know, one thing we're psyched about our round um, is that actually all of our uh, investors are, you know, entrepreneurs or past entrepreneurs. And so, uh, you know, they've been where we are at right now, actually. Great. Um, so what's next for uh, Postures? What are your uh, uh, goals and challenges? Uh, you raised 750000 You're uh, managing your budget uh, very tightly, but nevertheless, you're using that capital for the company. So what are the uh, uh, goals for the company going forward? Uh, we've, so we've definitely tried to keep it very, very lean. We want to make sure that uh, our money's going to last. And so we're just trying to grow right now in terms of our user base. Uh, we just uh, acquired another Y Combinator company, so we got our, our third person on board. We're bringing on a fourth by the end of the summer. And we actually just got offices uh, three days ago. Fantastic. So, uh, Will you be looking for venture capital down the road? We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. So. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you had a number of uh, top uh, VCs knocking on your door. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys have a great uh, reputation. It's uh, good to get the insights from you today as to how the fundraising uh, round went. And I think Absolutely. this is another example of um, how you can raise capital efficiently uh, and quickly and bring on board uh, angel investors uh, who are also advisors and provide a lot of value to the company. Great. Well, thank you, Sachin. Thank you, uh, Gary, for joining me today. This has been another segment of Fundraiser on Vader TV, and I'm John Batista, and look forward to seeing you next time.